So when I get more than a handful of questions or I need to clear something up that maybe I wasn't uh, quite as good at explaining in my videos, then um, this one is that. So I'm kind of, um, one thing that I probably didn't do clarity on is bilateral versus double mastectomy is the same thing. So bi just simple, simply means two. So I had a bilateral or double mastectomy, meaning the breast tissue from each of my um, breasts were removed. So um, the other thing that I get a lot of questions about or, you know, just text messages like, hey, you know, how do they look? Um, and it's not quite as easy as what most people think as implants, getting implants, right? So I thought the best way to explain this that I had heard was a pillowcase. So um, to me, that was just a really great visual. So I have a little prop here today. So if you are getting um, a breast enhancement, right? So here is your boob, right? And you're getting your breast tissue. You're going to be putting an implant, which is going to you're gonna put the implant in on top of what you currently already have, right? So here's your skin, here's your implant. So in my case, or in the case of somebody who is having a bilateral mastectomy or double mastectomy, where they're having the tissue removed, um, skin sparing, so that is another thing that I was a candidate for. So um, what they did then is take my current skin, remove the breast tissue, right? So like this, and then of course it's gonna look like this so what happens is you have to go through the reconstruction process in order to put the implant in so it is a little bit of a process meaning there are when the spacer is put in and I had my surgery done where the plastics team and my breast surgeon were in the same surgery so when they remove the tissue, they also put a spacer with saline solution filled up in that. So I wasn't completely flat um, after my surgery. Um, there was a little saline filled up in that. However, I do have to go back over the course of um, every few weeks to get them filled up until I'm happy with this, the size. And then there's an exchange surgery. So the exchange surgery takes the spacer out puts the implant in to my skin and then I am good to go. So there is a little bit of a difference into adding what you currently already have in as opposed to removing and then starting over. And a lot of women um, are not candidates for nipple and skin sparing, which means that like for my grandmother, um, then when she was diagnosed about 25 years ago, there wasn't the reconstruction part of that as commonly as it is done today. So I remember being a kid and seeing, you know, the scars, which we've all kind of seen and then no reconstruction. So there are a lot of women that certainly opt for that still today, even though there's, um, surgeons who will do something very similar to me, to my surgery. And the other thing too that is very common that breast surgeons have been doing that I've gotten a lot of questions on is adding in the cadaver skin. So the cadaver skin was added in kind of like that pillowcase, kind of a visual. It was added in right underneath my nipple and my skin. And what that does is it helps act as a barrier because the skin is washed, there's DNA that's removed from it. So um, when, my, when it's placed in my own skin, in my own or my um my own DNA will populate that and there is no chance of rejection from cadaver skin. But what that cadaver skin does is act as a barrier and then number two acts as additional reinforcement for the um for the uh spacer currently and then the implant further down the line. So um this has been something that when I asked my breast surgeon how long they've been doing and using cadaver skin in my particular surgery and she said 10 years. So it, it's common for other surgeries, not only breast surgeries to use cadaver skin, but a lot of skin um, in different areas depending upon what the surgery um, is and entails. So anyway, just clearing up the um, implants. They're not done yet. It takes, it certainly is a process cadaver skin um, used as a reinforcement and then um, bilateral or double mastectomy being the same thing. So 
Um, any other questions, um, don't hesitate to instant message me on, um, I know I just have the YouTube, but you can also find me instant message on my Facebook page, which is 365 Days of Cancer. So anyway, whatever you guys are doing today, thanks for watching and have a great day.